everyone, in this video, I will talk about the study material for strongly connected components and the Coase Rogers algorithm. So, first, what are SECs? Um, SECs can be defined as the equivalence classes on a relation URV, where URV, if and only if, you can get from U to V via some directed path, and you can get from V to U via some directed path as well. This is like the formal definition, but um, you can also say that you can find a directed path from any vertex to another in an SEC. And also note that for undirected graphs, we care more about connected components, while for directed graphs, we care more about the strongly connected components. And what exactly do we want to find? So we want to find the SECs in a directed graph, and also if there are multiple SECs, we want to find every one of them. And also note that we want to find the maximal SECs. This means that if we add a new vertex to the current SEC, it shouldn't be an SEC anymore. For example, um, I took the graph from our slides, and then here A and F is indeed an SEC, but it's not a maximal one because if you add B and D to it, it is also an SEC because you can go from one vertex to another in this component um, following a directed path. Um, so in fact, in this graph, what we want to find is, um, is the set of two SECs, which is um, AFBD and also C, which is an SEC by itself. And now we will um, talk about the Coase Rogers algorithm, its runtime analysis, and the reasonings. So, what does it do? So, it first run a DFS on G, and we also want to keep a stack of vertices so that every time we back out from a, ver uh, from a vertex, we will push it onto the stack. And second, we compute G reverse. This is the G with all edges reversed. Um, this is also called G transpose. Um, and third, we run DFS on G reverse in the order that we pop vertices off the stack. So in fact, the first DFS determines the order of vertices in which we do the second DFS, and the second DFS will actually determine what the SECs are. So now we'll do a walkthrough of the same graph that we did in a class. Um, so first, we run the DFS on the original graph G. Um, so we will follow a um, lexical graphical order. Um, we start from A, go to B, go to C. We can't go anywhere else from C, so we back out from C. Um, and that, that's when we want to push C onto the stack. So we back out from C to B and then go to D. We can go from D to C, but C has been discovered, so we can go anywhere new from D. So we back up from D and push it onto the stack. Now we are at B. So we back up from B to A um, and we push B onto the stack. Uh, from A, we can go to F. From F, we can go to C, but C has been discovered. So we will um, back up from F to A and push F onto the stack. And now we can go anywhere else from A, so we push A onto the stack. And now uh, we need to start a new DFS, which is controlled by our um, manager loop. Um, so we will start a new DFS on E, which hasn't been discovered. We'll go, go to G. Um, G can go to D, but D has been discovered, so we'll just back out from G and push it onto the stack. And now last, we will um, exit E and push it onto stack, and we finish the first round of DFS. Second, we will compute G reverse, which is G with all edges reversed, and this is the computed um, G transpose. So now we will do a second round of DFS on G reverse. Um, so we will start from the top, um, top, Ver vertex on S, so like we would, um, so for this example, we will start from E, go to G, um, and then we can go 
anywhere else. So we back out to E and we finish the first um, run of DFS here. So we find our first SEC as E and G. Now we start our second DFS from A, go to D, uh, go to B, can't go anywhere else, back out to D, back out to A, go to F, can go anywhere else, so back out to A, and we finish the second round of DFS, and that's when we find our second SEC here. And lastly, we're left with C, which is just the third SEC by itself. And so here we can see how the Coaster Rogers can run the second DFS following the order determined by the first DFS and find the um, the three SECs that we want. So the running time of the Coast Rogers is theta v plus e, and this is because the bottleneck in this algorithm um, are the two rounds of DFS. Each of them is a theta v plus e algorithm, and so the overall running time of Coast Rogers is just theta v plus e um, in both best case and worst case scenarios. And why does it work? So uh, we notice that we need um, we need a stack of ver vertices during the first DFS, and for some vertex x on a stack, every stack that can be reached by x must back out earlier than x, so it must be below x on the stack. And during the second DFS. Um, on the G transpose, when we pop off some X from the stack and start a DFS from X, we will treat X as a root of um, a tree in a DFS forest. And after we finish this DFS starting from X, we will have constructed a tree in a DFS forest on G transpose. And um, one important thing is that each tree and the DFS forest of the G transpose will contain exactly one SEC. And so that's how we know that when we finish a single run of DFS um, on G transpose, it is just one of the SECs that we want to find. So this slide uh, concludes um, the study material for strongly connected components and the Coase Rogers algorithm, which finds SECs in a directed graph instead of V plus E time. Thank you for watching.